Earlier on today, Big Stevie Cool here talked about Dave King's potential return to Ibrox in a CEO chairman capacity. Now, for the sake of not repeating myself here, you can check out that video, but to give it a 10 second recap, pretty much Dave King says yes, he would like to return and order stability to Rangers Football Club for one to two years. But since that has been revealed, Ali McCoy has also gave his opinion on the matter. And that's what today on Fog Football we are going to talk about. But to sum it up, Ali McCoy has gave Dave King the green light, brother, and he backs him to get Rangers out of a state. So welcome back to the channel. How was your weekend? Probably all right, depending on who you support. Uh, I mean, Rangers won 1-0, one uh, so I mean, I'm relatively happy with that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be doing jumping jacks about a 1-0 win against Dundee United. Come on, baby, hit me with it. Hit me with your best shot, then anyone fire away. Uh, but he was speaking on TalkSport, Ali McCoy. Uh, McCoy said, and I quote, We've got to do something. We have to. The first thing I would like to do is echo the fuse and wish John Bennett a return to full health. He is a good man and that is the most important thing at this moment in time. We have no chairman. Jane Brisgrove left for Saudi Arabia. You've got to say the club is in a state. It is in a absolute state. End of quote. I mean, yeah, I mean, even forget about the on-pitch stuff, right? Forget about players and forget about what's happening there, right? And actually just look at above house and above the board and all that. You know, board members leaving, board members not being able to do their job, transfer funds, Ibrox, Hamden, just all this, you know, mince piling up on top of each other. McCoy is absolutely right to point out that it is a step, but as I said in my video earlier, and I want to reiterate this, can Rangers not... You know, get King in, get whoever else in relatively quick, and I get it right, I don't want to rush it like a microwave job, all right? But at the end of the day, get it sorted, and let's start focusing on games of football and winning games of football, man, and maybe in a few months' time we can be, oh, I remember how bad we were, but now we're great, you know, okay? Positivity, guys. P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. Well, that's positive, not positivity, but you know what, big man, I don't care. Because if there's positivity around the club, I'll be positive, and that's exactly what I want. But uh, McCoy went on to say, and I quote, Dave King has come in before and grabbed the club by the scruff of the neck, shook it around, turned it around, but can he do it again? At this moment in time, I think he's probably our best option. We're not going to get any Arab sheep coming over. I don't see it happening. From where I'm sitting, the best option would be to go away and I'll try and test it. He has been there before and had success. It would not It would be a gamble, no matter who comes in. But I think someone like Dave King, who has a proven track record, would be good. End of quote. So, yeah, I mean, he has got a proven track record. He, had, he has helped turn Rangers around in the past. And I touched on this earlier. I mean, how, how mental is it? When Dave King got Rangers right, you know, oh, Celtic will fall like a pack of cards. Do do do. We, we, we'll, we've won 55, you know, the future is set, we'll get Champions League money, things like that. It's just gone absolutely <laughs> pear-shaped, man, I don't know what my throat. Um, but it's just gone absolutely pear-shaped since then. A lot of these players, I guarantee, they will be, I say players, a lot of, I, mean, I can't believe it was a fan. You know, we all thought, man, you'd get a few years of Rangers dominating. We all did think that. I mean, I'm not delusional, I didn't think we'd win 20 in a row, like maybe some people might have thought, but... It's actually tragic what's happened. It just shows you, see, when you're on top in football, you've got to maintain that and you've got to remain on top. See, it's, you know, I don't know when it's going to happen, right? But see, next time Rangers win the league, right? I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take it for granted. I'm not, you know, I see that last scene of 150, scene of 155, I just assumed, oh, nothing's going to stop us now, you know, all that. But, you know, to quote Penn from Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, Assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. And I assumed in uh, about April 2021 the Rangers would win the next few leagues. And uh, 
I've got egg on my face and I'll hold my hands up and admit that, but you know what? Next time I'll fuck it. I'll bathe in the champagne. But then I'll be like the next day, right? No slacking. Fix the roof while the sun is shining. Bally McCoy, he's back Dave King. Do you back Dave King? Or or if you're a Celtic or an Aberdeen or whatever fan, are you bricking Dave King? Leave it down below.